So when did you first come into Kingsley? Oh, oh. <laughs> what? That would have been um, 21. 21? Mm -hmm. 1921. Almost. I came to Northwest to Kingsley. Mm -hmm. On my grandmother's farm. Mm -hmm. And this was after your father had passed away? Yeah, my father passed away when I was almost two. Mm -hmm. And then and about when I was four, four and a half, my mother remarried mm -hmm. Roscoe Van Orso. Then Dana was born. Mm -hmm. And uh, after went to country school, well, we moved then we moved southeast to Kingsley mm -hmm. on the farm. And what did what kind of animals were on the farm? Oh, they had uh, stock cows and hogs and sheep and milk cows, mm -hmm. horses. Horses? Yeah. They did farm with horses back in those days. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pick corn by hand. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, that took pick a while. you pick any up south of town, did you? We did a lot of that. Or sent a bushel. A sent a bushel. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty crazy. A sent a bushel. Make a uh, hundred bushel a day, you made a dollar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you, said, you said that you did a lot of farming with horses. How much do you think it would have, like, a horse would have cost back then just to buy, like, a new horse? Well,. I know my uncle, when he died, he willed me a horse. Mm -hmm. He got $30 for it. $30. $30. But uh, he didn't have horses. There's a lot of different prices, too, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depend just depending yeah. on what kind of horse it is. Yeah. How far would a dollar take you back in the day? Well, a dollar was worth something back then, mm -hmm. you know. I know. I asked my stepdad for a quarter, you know, and he said, what did you do with the quarter I gave you last week? <laughs> <laughs> the largest times were pretty tough. Mm -hmm. And you said you were, you remember the stock market crash? Yeah. In 29, what, 29? 1929. Yeah. You said that was shortly after your birthday, right? Yeah. What's something you really remember from the market crash? No, yeah. yeah, well, I don't. I remember tough times. Yeah. That's about all I remember about <laughs> it. But. Um, you mentioned, you want my voice about you always had a big garden, so you weren't really, you never went hungry. Well, yeah, my mother always canned, you know, and, and had a big garden, and then we always butchered. So we had plenty to eat. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. We always had plenty to eat. But, Oh, um. We didn't have uh, a lot of toys and stuff like that. And we had a pony, mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't have a bicycle. We had a ball and bat, maybe, and a sled. Well, there's a lot of ways to entertain yourself on a farm, though, yeah, too. Yeah, well, yeah, we, there was always something. He was riding calves and <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. What churches were here? Pardon? What churches were here, like, in the 40s? Well, the Brethren Church was, uh, where, that was where, um, 
Time Gable. Lefty Barnes lives. Oh, so. mm -hmm. that was a well. It was a, a Methodist church, the old Methodist church, but the Brethren Church rented it from the from the Methodist Church. Mm -hmm. And then during the war, the Brethren brothers built a church where the Johnson's funeral home. Funeral home. Oh, okay. 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 And they gave that to a big guy by the name of Baker, the church. They gave it to him and gave him $4,000 towards moving it. And he made a home out of it, south of mm -hmm. Pearson. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he charges $5 if you want to go through it. <laughs> it's, uh, it had a balcony in it, and that's where his bedroom was up in the balcony and kitchen mm -hmm. down. And that's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I never was in it since he moved it. But. If someone was going to move into Kingsley, what would you recommend? Like, would you recommend moving into Kingsley? 100% yes. <laughs> <laughs>